Hey guys, so this is going to be a video and it's going to be a guide to using all the useful external tools for speedrunning Halo 2. With the PC launch came a ton of new capabilities and these tools are being created to make learning the Halo 2 speedrun much easier. By showing you where to find these tools and how to use them, I aim to make learning the speedrun easier than ever. The tools I'm going to focus on are a checkpoint trainer, a checkpoint manager and an auto splitter. All three of these have been developed by Burn. He's a great guy in the Halo Runs community, and they're all really useful. So, I'm just going to turn off my camera now and get into the guide. Hopefully it's useful for you guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the Checkpoint Trainer. So, first I'll show you how to get the Checkpoint Trainer. Um, you want to join the Halo Runs Discord, so go to HaloRuns.com. If you're not familiar with HaloRuns.com, this is where all the records are stored for Halo speedrunning. You have the four game records here on the main page and individual le level records here. So on this page we have a Discord link here. So if you click on this, halorunns.com forward slash Discord and then join the Halorunns Discord. So I won't read the rules because so I don't care. <laughs> so then within this you have games. So Halo 1, 2, 3, etc. So I go to Halo 2. If I go within the pinned messages up here at the top right, there's loads of useful stuff in here. But if we scroll down, we find a link by Burnt called the H2A Checkpoint Trainer. You just press this button and it'll download it. I'll try to put this link in the description as well if you don't want to join the Discord. But yeah, this is the Checkpoint Trainer. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you want to open it. So to open it requires a thing called Cheat Engine. Now Cheat Engine can be downloaded through this website called CheatEngine.org. It's not the best software in the world, it is a little bit dodgy. You do just click this big green button. I have Adblock on, this is a legitimate download link. Um, I will say when you're downloading this, just be sure to read everything, uh, as it may try to download a few other bits of software with it. So just tick the correct boxes to avoid that and just get the cheat engine software. Like I said, it's a little bit dodgy, but it is it is fine once you just get the actual raw software itself. So once you got cheat engine installed, you want to go to the file that you downloaded from Discord, which should be called this H2A Checkpoint Trainer V6. So if you open this, press yes, and here we have th this little box is the beautiful Checkpoint Trainer. So there's multiple features in this. The main one is Checkpoint. So this allows us to create a custom checkpoint wherever we want you know, on a level. So yeah, this is really useful for practicing. Obviously, you can be at parts of levels where you want to practice a particular strategy but you don't have a checkpoint well now you can just make one the second button is a revert button it allows you to instantly revert to the last checkpoint without getting through the menu again quite useful the third one is a double revert so it allows you to revert back two checkpoints so if you accidentally create a checkpoint or the game gives you a checkpoint that you don't want you can go back to the checkpoint previous to that that's what the double revert is a speed hack which allows you to walk really fast if you just want to quickly get through a level to where you want to practice and then disable natty cps i assume natural natty means natural it just disables any checkpoints that the game would regularly give you so you only get custom checkpoints then down this side this is your hotkey if you click on the three dots it allows you to change your hotkey you can change it to anything you like but you can also bind it to controller input so I'm using controller right now if I press up on my d-pad which is what I use there you go and then press apply and then when I press up on my d-pad in game it will give me a checkpoint I do have halo open here so let's get into this so you can see it said custom checkpoint done if I press up custom checkpoint done I have down to revert if I press down I'm straight back here so I can create checkpoints wherever I want and then immediately revert to them with the second button. If I w don't want to go back to the checkpoint, I press my double revert button, and it goes back to the checkpoint before that. So yeah, it's a really, really useful tool. Really, really easy to use. You just need to get the, the correct downloads, and right you're good way. to go with this. So I'm going to pause that. We will be coming back to Halo shortly. So yeah, I think that's the checkpoint trainer. I don't think there's much else for that. Speed hack is a tick box, so you can enable it and disable it. And you can bind a key for that. So yeah, that's the checkpoint trainer. I'm going to minimize that now. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the checkpoint manager. 
um, again created by Burnt. This time you don't have to go into the Discord, there is just a link here which I'll put in the description. Um, and yeah, it's called HCM. The newest version of, as of making this video is 0 0.9.4. So this is Halo Checkpoint Manager. So download it from this link. This website is much better, it's directly from Burnt. Uh, you don't have to worry about any dodgy stuff with this. And then you'll receive a file called Checkpoint Manager. I'm sure, um, unzip it. So this is this. To use the Checkpoint Manager you need to run it as Administrator. If I try to open it without, it tells you that it requires admin privileges. So right click and then run as Administrator. Press yes. And then it'll come up. So this is for all Halo games um, on MCC. You can switch between these, you can have checkpoints for every game. So what this does, it allows you to save checkpoints within a folder and access them via this menu. So I have checkpoints here for a few things throughout the run, like Gondol Launch on Regret, etc. Um, yeah, so you can actually save checkpoints directly to this menu and open them whenever you like. So on the Halo right now, I'm playing Gravemind. So an important sec section of Gravemind to practice is the post prison section. So I have a checkpoint here called GM post prison. So if I click on that, I can press inject, which injects it into my game. So now that will be my most recent checkpoint. So if I revert to checkpoint now, my checkpoint is here from the manager post prison. If I want to put a new checkpoint in, I can create one with the checkpoint trainer or get one naturally, either work. Then go back into the manager and click dump. So you can actually force a checkpoint here and dump, but dump will just dump your last checkpoint. So if I click dump now, it tells me to name it, so I can call this Gravemind 2. Okay, so there it is, Gravemind 2. So now if I just progress a little bit, and then let's get, let's get a new checkpoint for example. So I created another new checkpoint here. I can then go into the manager, click on Gravemind 2. Um, and then click inject or inject and force revert. So if I click inject and force revert, it will inject the checkpoint and immediately revert. So here we are at group mine two. So the checkpoint trainer and checkpoint manager work <laughs> nicely together. Um, I'd recommend using both and just create a, a little database of checkpoints with stuff that you like to practice a lot. It's, uh, it's really nice. You can create them. And yeah, just to have a list like this. And before, maybe f before you want to play it, play the game, you can just go to the quick sections that you want to play, and load them in. To I have to say that you have to have the level loaded before you start injecting checkpoints. So if I can't inject a quarantine zone checkpoint here, as you can see, it's grayed out. So I'd have to load up quarantine zone before I do that. Uh, yeah, that's the checkpoint trainer and checkpoint manager. Hopefully, I covered anything. If you have any questions, just you can leave them in the comments. And I'll try to answer. And like I said, I'll try to put the download links in the comments as well. So the last major tool I want to talk about is called Live Split. So Live Split is a tool that speedrunners use. It's used in every game. There's tons of guides out there for using Live Split. There's an FAQ on their website and a little introduction page. So it's really nice. There's some really good tutorials here. Um, so yeah, I really recommend downloading this software. Um, once you do download it, and you open it. This is my live split file. So this is obviously my splits for my personal best for easy. You can see here it's really nice. But when you download it, it won't look like this. If I close splits, this is probably what it'll just look like. It'll just be a blank timer. So I'm going to quickly talk about live split. Um, there's edit split and edit layout. You have two things, your splits and your layout. If you go to edit splits, this is where I create my splits. So, for example, I'd start with Armory, and then I can click Insert below to add a second split, and then Ky then I can put Cairo, etc. So then within this as well, you have split times and segment times. So the segment is purely the level. So in this case, it would be um, Cairo or Armory or outskirts. Those are the segments. The split time is the time it takes you to get past that segment plus all previous segments. So my segment times are 1, 1, 
you see how my split time is accumulative of that. So it's the current segment time and all previous segment times is equals the split time. Hopefully that's not too confusing. But yeah, so you really want to insert your splits like this. I can put a split file potentially in the description as well if you want to just copy my splits. But yeah, you can create your own as well. Uh, there's loads of stuff you can do with this as well, but I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. I'll quickly talk about editing layout. So your layout is sort of how how the live suite will appear. Uh, I have a title, which is the title of the game, once I add that. I have splits, which is obviously the times. I add a detail timer, so this is if you want to see individual segment times as you go along. And then best possible time is the thing at the bottom, it shows me my best... Um, possible time based upon based upon the sum of all my best segments so yeah there's, there's loads you can do with this splits is for creating like the actual times and layout is how it looks in essence um, within that as well you can go to layout settings and you can edit all your appearance and how stuff works really 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 nice software you can also save layouts once you're done once you got it nice looking nice you can click save layout and it will You'll be able to return to it whenever you like. So this is my splits. I want to show you how to use the auto splitter. So the auto splitter is a really nice feature. Again, it's not just for Halo 2. It works for Halo 1, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Reach, M4, all the Master Chief Collection games on PC. Um, so to get the auto splitter working, I'm going to actually close splits again real quick. So I can go from the start. So edit splits. Within this, you need to put your game name as Halo: colon, The Master Chief Collection. Make sure you sp spell it all correctly, and it'll come up with Auto Splitter for MCC PC by Burnt. You want to click this little Activate button, and then it will automatically split for you when you play the game. Really, really useful feature. Within this as well, there is settings. For the actual auto splitter itself, you can do, you can select what it'll do for you. So, have I recommend having these ticked and leave these not ticked. But there is some advanced stuff here, so you can have, yeah, like a death counter, uh, an individual level mode if you just want to have a live split running for an individual level rather than a full game run, and then splitting on unique loading duns. So when the game says loading dot 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 done, you can get it to split on that. So you can have multiple sub-splits within the levels if you really want to go into huge detail. But yeah, the auto-split aims to follow the Halo Run's timing rules as accurately as possible. And so, uh, yeah, it should be it should be pretty good for you. You literally just load up Armory, start the level, and it will go. And it will pause during the load screens as it should. And it should give you a roughly accurate time. So yeah, that's uh, that's live split. If you want to learn more about that, like I said, there's plenty of guides on their website. Um, but I just wanted to mainly show you how to get that auto splitter working. Apart from that, the one extra thing that I need to mention is that I'm going to close Halo right now. And all of these tools require you to play with anti cheat disabled. So anti cheat is a feature in on Halo Master Chief Collection. That prevents you from using mods and hacks and cheats in multiplayer. So when you click play on Steam, you get two options. Play the normal game in which you can get achievements and play multiplayer. Or play anti-cheat disabled. So this allows you to use all this software. The auto splitter, the checkpoint trainer and the checkpoint manager will not work unless you're on anti-cheat disabled. If you're in the Windows Store version somewhere within your folder for Halo, there should be an, an .exe file which it's called anti-cheat disabled. Just open that. And yeah, you can access anti-cheat disabled via Steam or Windows Store. And all the all these bits of software should should work nicely with either version of the game. Yeah, and then you're good to go. I, I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um yeah, hopefully that was useful for you guys. Thanks for watching.